Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another Hot Wheels casting spotlight. Today we're going to be checking out the Baja Breaker casting. Uh, trying to share as much information as I can and show almost every version ever released. I think I'm only missing about two, but I'm not a wheel variation guy and I'm not like, uh, I'm not really a variation collector. I'm just happy to have one example of each tampo or paint scheme. So that's usually the way I collect it. Uh, there's a lot of different variations in this particular casting, a lot of different wheel variations and paint variations, interior variations. Uh, and I'll try to go over those and try to be as thorough as possible. But uh, some of the information that I'm using from the internet is not complete. So I, I did a bunch of research and tried to get it as accurate as possible for you guys. Uh, the one on the turntable right now is the first release. And it debuted in a series called Speedway Specials. Uh, it was first uh, introduced in 1978. And it was designed by uh, a collaboration between Larry Wood and Bob Rojas. Rojas? R-O-S-A-S is Bob's last name. Rosasis. Um, I'll give you a little description of the casting. It says, uh, this 4x4 van was introduced in 1978 as the Baja Breaker in gray to the Hot Wheels lineup with large black walls, along with the Byway Man, the first vehicles with large black walls front and back. The designers made a special lifted base to fit these as they share the same base. The design is based on the third generation Ford Econoline. <clears throat> so that's some cool info right there. The uh, Byway Man casting and the Baja Breaker casting use the exact same base. Pretty interesting. And uh, you can tell these black walls are pretty big wheels, kind of like a 4x4, a real tall sidewall looking wheel. Uh, the original release of the Baja Breaker featured two rear windows. The casting was retooled shortly after its release with a single rear, rear window. Uh, the gray 1978 release is the only version with two separate windows. The gray 1978 version with a single window is more difficult to find. The Baja Breaker has been issued in the following versions. So according to this uh, info I got from the Hot Wheels Wikia from the fandom page, or site, uh, the gray 1978 version with a single window is more difficult to find, which is the one that I have on the turntable now. Uh, I'll show a few pictures of the original tooling with the two separate uh, doors or two separate uh, windows in the back right here. So that was a picture of the uh, original casting, the way it was cast with the two rear windows. This one has uh, just the one uh, rectangular window in the back. It was retooled right after it was released and they changed it from the two separate rear windows to one large rear window. Uh, these also uh, first released, this first tooling, they all have a plastic hood. Uh, which opens and I don't recommend you opening the hood on these because they have a little plastic tab that fits in the front <clears throat> and a lot of times when you open them you break the little uh, plastic tab off and then the, the hood will not close anymore so if you have a plastic version and the hood is staying closed on it I would highly recommend you just leave it closed uh, I'll give you a shot of uh, the engine um, I got a few with, uh, the hoods that are already open, so I don't really want to stretch this one open, but there is an engine underneath there if you, uh, open up the plastic hood. I'm going to try to shoot through these, but there's like 50 different versions, so it's going to be a long video, but it'll be very informational. I think it'll be cool to see all the different versions that are out there. Uh, next up in the plastic hood uh, version, original tooling, is this uh, 
Scene Machines from 1979 in this red color uh, with the yellow, white, and black tampos. It's got a, a motocross team. And if you look in the back, I don't think I'll be able to do it, but I'll try to hold it up to the camera and see if we can kind of peer into the spyglass a little bit. You can see there's kind of a little scene like a guy riding a motorcycle uh, inside. Kind of cool. Like it's almost like a 3D thing where there's like a guy sitting in the driver's seat. Um, but it's real hard to, to do, show this on my camera to get it to focus like that. But that's the first Baja Breaker scene machine released in 1978 in that red color with the uh, large black wall wheels. And uh, next up we have... Uh, this green one, this was uh, released in 1980 as a main line. <clears throat> uh, yellow, blue, and white, and it says it's Baja Breaker on the side. Uh, there also was a paint variation in 1980 with uh, yellow, olive, and white, and it says Baja Breaker. So... Uh, it had, I think the banner looks more of like a green color than a blue. Uh, I have a picture of the, the two different paint versions. So I'll try to insert, uh, clips or pics of those two, the paint variations so you can see the difference here. Uh, next up, we have another uh, scene machine, and this one is kind of uh, a harder one to find. It uh, usually goes for pretty big bucks. Uh, I've seen them go for, I can't remember if it was carded or loose. I think it was carded like around 80 to to $100 on eBay. I've seen them sell for that price. I was able to get one a lot cheaper, but it's a little bit. It's, uh, you know, not a fresh blister pole. It's got a little wear on it. So this one was released in 1981. Scene Machines uh, in this white. And it's got the black and orange tampos with the Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus. And Tiger on the sides. And then if you look in the back, like I said, it doesn't work very well with my camera. But I'll try to give you a little spy in there if it'll work. Uh... You can see there's like some tigers in there. So there's kind of like a, a, a lion or tiger tamer scene in the back. But you can see the angry tiger inside. So that one's pretty cool. And like I said, that one is a little bit expensive. Uh, harder to come by. Next up we have uh, this orange this metal flake orange that was released in 1983 with the yellow blue and white Baja breaker uh, this version was also available in a McDonald's Happy Meal same exact one with the plastic plastic opening hood plastic tall uh, black wall wheels and then they did make a real riders version that was also released in 1983 this one right here with the uh, gray hubbed real riders on it so it was from the real rider series in 1983 in the metal flake orange yellow blue and white Baja breaker on the side so just uh, kind of a wheel variation one was a main line with uh, plastic tall black wall wheels and then there was one from the real rider series uh the same year with uh rubber tires there's a little shot of the bottom of the base if you want to check it out metal base next up we have this uh e-team version now there's three different variations of this all released in 1984 all in black with a red A-Team style stripe on it. So in this uh, plastic 
quoted version uh, released in 1984. There's three different wheel variations for this uh, plastic hood version. Uh, first, there was the uh, regular tall black wall wheels. Uh, since this one has a hood that doesn't stay closed, I'll give you a shot of the engine. So it just doesn't really have any painted detail or anything. You can kind of see some valve covers and a air cleaner and some hoses and a battery, some other stuff. But as you can see, the hoods, once you open them, sometimes they just don't stay closed anymore. So I would highly recommend you not opening the plastic hood if you have one that stays closed. Uh, next up we have another version a wheel variation uh, same exact uh, release same paint job and everything the only difference is the wheel variation and this is uh, the gray hubbed real rider version and this is from the uh, real rider series 1984 real riders series release and this is the gray hub and then it was also released in uh, the white hub real rider wheels. So you got the gray hub and you got the white hub real rider. So that's it for the plastic hood versions. Uh, now the uh, Hot Wheels retooled the uh, Baja breaker. And uh, they changed it so it no longer had a plastic hood. Probably from that problem where the hood was, the tabs were breaking off or the hood wasn't closing or just to make it cheaper to produce. Uh, but the Baja Breaker got a new tool and die in 1989 and was issued in the following versions. Notes, the casting now implements the hood as part of the body and is no longer openable. So from 1989 forward, all the Baja breakers have metal hoods that are part of the body, no longer have a separate plastic hood that opens. Uh, this is uh, actually, uh, we got a couple of A-Team vans. Uh, they had two more. Two more A-Team van releases once they retooled it, and they changed it to an all-metal body without the plastic hood. So there's two more A-Team black and red variations. Uh, there's a, a black wall version like this with the tall uh, black walls with the metal hood. And then there's uh, another uh, <clears throat> version with uh, a different set of wheels. Uh, kind of like the more modern 4x4 wheel, which is uh, brings us to this one. These are the wheels that the fifth variation of the A-Team van uh, had when it was released in uh, 1989. This one also is from 1989. Uh, this white version uh, with the yellow, red, and black Suzuki ATV racing team on it. It's got the uh, newer style 4x4 wheels on it. Next up we have uh, a Simpsons release. And there's a lot of variations of the Simpsons one. Uh, I'll try to give a quick... Uh, montage of the different variation there's six different versions there's a yellow skinny stripe you can see it's got two yellow stripes down the side there's a yellow uh, skinny stripe version and then there's a yellow fat stripe version and each stripe version has three different wheel variations so there's the skinny stripe uh, white wheels which is the one i own there's a skinny stripe yellow wheels
same exact wheel it's just the, the face is painted yellow instead of white and then there's a uh, yellow skinny stripe chrome wheel same exact wheel style just the face is like a chrome like a metallic chrome looking and then there's um, a fat yellow paint pinstripe version or a fat yellow stripe version with those same three wheel variations. Get it in a white wheel, a yellow wheel, or a chrome wheel. All the same exact wheel, just the, the faces are painted different colors. So three different wheel variations of the skinny stripe and three vari wheel variations of the fat yellow stripe. So a total of six of these Simpson vans. Uh, this Simpson van is a scene machine. So if you take a look, you might be able to see that there's uh, a scene in there. But I don't, I'm not a wheel, vari I'm not a variation guy, so I'm happy to have just one. But there's six different variations of that Simpsons. Uh, next up we have a pretty cool one. This one is uh, from the uh, 1993 release Tattoo Machines. And by the way, those Simpsons vans were uh, 1980, 1990 releases. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. 1990. Uh, but this 1993 Tattoo Machines uh, is a really cool version. It came with some... Uh, water rub on uh, tattoos in the packaging with the vehicle uh, this maroon with the uh, fading yellow front it's got kind of a yellow fade into maroon black yellow red and white mouth with fangs and uh, it's named open wide for this version so i believe it didn't say baja breaker on the packaging it just said open wide which is part of the graphics on the van it's just got fangs all over it and you got a bunch of different tampos or um, uh, temporary tattoos in different sizes all these different uh, different fang designs that are on the van you got little uh, temporary tattoos uh, with it in the packaging so that's a pretty cool one uh, next up we have uh, this purple and yellow, which is another really cool one. This one was released, uh, this metal flake purple with the yellow spots. This was a main line released in 1997. And on some of uh, the packaging, it was falsely advertised with opening hood, which it does not have opening hood because it's all metal. They changed the... Uh, the tool. Uh, next up we have from 2004 we have a f its first uh, sp Spectre f Flame release. Uh, this was a Real Riders bonus Hot Wheels Club. Uh, I think it was the number three release in 2004. The Spectre Flame, Spectre Flame Blue uh, orange, red, and yellow stripes, real riders on the side and rear. Uh, Goodyear, real riders, chrome real riders. 10,000 of this one made. So this one's very cool. Uh, really sharp in person, metallic blue. It says real riders on the side. It's got uh, metal body, metal base. Chrome base, chrome wheels, rubber tires, Goodyear lettering on it. So that's a really uh, cool one and the first uh, Spectre Flame version of the uh, Baja Breaker. Next up, uh, they ran a series of classics in six different colors 
uh, all in 2005 uh, in six different Spectraflame colors. So these are all released in 2005. All with the same exact wheels. Just different colors. And these are kind of, um, when you're buying them on eBay, it's kind of hard to tell which one you're getting because they're so close in color. The shades are very similar. Uh, one thing I recommend is if you are buying them on eBay and you're trying to figure out which one you're buying because you're not really sure, maybe the, the way they took the picture, the lighting in the pictures, not the greatest. If you take a look at the flames, the flames kind of have like an outline or like a pinstriping around the flames. Uh, take a close look at that because it's different like outline color in the flames which will help you figure out which one you need this one kind of has like and uh the flames are white i believe they're all all the flames are white on all these classics but this one kind of has like an orange outline this is like the red next up we have uh the magenta metallic And that one, as you can see, the flames, uh, the pinstripe around the flames is like a blue. So that's your clue that uh, which one this is. This is the like pink magenta uh, color, Spectre Flame. But uh, check out those flames. It's got the blue pinstriping around the flames. And then next up we have uh, the orange version. And the orange and the red are real hard to tell the difference. This uh, orange one. This orange one kind of has orange uh, pinstriping around it. White flames with kind of uh, a yellowish orange pinstripe around the outside. Next up we have, uh, it doesn't really look like a black, but this one is listed as black. It looks almost like a dark uh, purple, or like a really dark blue, but it's listed as black, even though it looks a little bit purple. Just depends on how the light hits it. Then we have uh, this blue version. which is a nice shade of blue, Spectre Flame Blue. Again, check out the pinstriping around the white flames. And you can see that'll help you ID it on eBay if you're looking to buy another one. And then we have uh, this green version, last of the, the classics. This green with, uh, looks like reddish orange pinstriping around the white flames so that's all six versions of the hot wheels classic series with the baja breakers next up we have uh, a wrestling release if you look closely it says uh, triple h and it says uh, wwe on it <clears throat> world wrestling Yeah, this one was released in 2006, and this is a WWE series release in Metal Flake Silver. You can see it says Triple H on it, and uh, a black and red cross are the tampos on it, with uh, a blacked out grill, blacked out wheels. So this is the uh, World Wrestling release i'll see if i can get a closer shot at the door maybe you can read that it's kind of it's white paint on silver so it's kind of hard to see you got to get it just in the right light you can see it says real small it says world wrestling entertainment underneath the ww logo and you can see it says triple h and i guess that's his 
logo. I'm not really that into wrestling, so I wouldn't really know. But this one's got a, plas a plastic black base, black wheels, black grill. So that one's really cool. Uh, next up we have uh, some really cool shiny ones. Got a couple different uh, series. This was from uh, released in 2006. This is the uh, Flying Custom series. And this is the metallic brown with the silver flames over black backdrop. So this is kind of a cool... I really like these. Uh, there's like a set of four here. There's two Flying Customs and two Super Chromes. Uh, I just really like this uh, this run they did in 2006. Really nice uh, tampo on it. Just really nice choice of uh, colors. <clears throat> so again, this is uh, from 2006. Metallic Brown from the Flying Custom series with uh, the Silver Flames on, on black. Very cool. Uh, next up we have this... Uh, another uh, Flying Customs release from 2006. This one is Metal Flake Magenta in color. And it's got green, blue, and red flames on a green backdrop. So this one's very colorful, very cool, very shiny. Metal Flake Magenta really pops. And then with the, the multicolored green uh, flames on the side really looks awesome. One of my favorites. Uh, next up we have a couple from uh, 2006 in the Super Chrome series. A couple Super Chromes releases. This was uh, 2006 Super Chrome's Gold Chrome body color. And then it's got gold flames on a blue backdrop. So it's kind of got like an outline of flames in the gold with the blue behind it. Very cool version, very shiny chrome blue, or chrome gold, I mean, gold chrome. And then one more uh, Super Chromes release from 2006. This is just the regular chrome version. Uh, really nice version, though. Really love the colors they used on this. Super shiny chrome paint job with uh, orange, red, and yellow on a magenta backdrop. And this one is so shiny, it's kind of hard to get a good look at the, the tampo because the, the light bounces off of it. But it's cool, it's got a purple interior, it's got like a purple tinted uh, windshield. Very cool version, one of my favorites. All right, next up, we have this uh, Synth 68 release from 2008 in this metal flake blue with the silver and blue stripes on the sides. Really cool version. Kind of like a 70s stripe paint on it. Synth 68 series release. From 2008 in the metal flake blue and then they have another one I uh, don't have a lot of information about it but I'm assuming that it's probably released about the same time in this uh, two-tone two-tone orange version also a since 68 release so I believe it was also released in 2008 this is like the recolor in the two-tone orange Another cool 70s style version. It's a 70s stripes. Next up we have uh, three from a series called Heat Fleet from 2009. This first release is Metal Flake Purple. Really cool version. They do a lot of uh, flame jobs on these uh, Baja breakers. A lot of different uh, tempo versions with different variations of flames on them, uh, which is cool. Um, I really love the flame jobs on these, and uh, I'm sure they uh, are real popular sellers. 
a lot of people like the flames on them. Uh, this paint job is real similar to, kind of reminds me of the flames on a super van. Uh, this Heat Fleet series had three different paint colors. This first one was the metallic purple. Then they had uh, a metallic red version. All pretty much the same, same wheels and everything, just different paint colors. And then after the red one, also in 2009, all three of these uh, heat fleets are from 2009, is this metal flake satin blue, which is a really cool one. I uh, really like how it's metal flake, but it's still a satin. It's not super glossy. Very, very cool version for just like a mainline uh, Baja breaker. Next up, we got a couple of, uh, I guess you'd call them holiday releases. Uh, Valentine's Day. Two different Valentine's Day versions. And these were uh, specific to uh, certain stores. This Metal Flake Black version that came out in 2010, uh, this Valentine's Day release, was a Walmart exclusive uh, with the light and dark red stripes with the Cupid picture on it. Pretty cool version. Cute little cartoon of Cupid and it says Hot Wheels and has hearts on it and stuff. And then also in uh, 2010, another Valentine's Day version. Uh, but this was exclusive to a six pack and this is a Target exclusive. So this white version you could only get at Target. And the previous black version was a Walmart exclusive. Uh, and this, uh, this white version was only available in a six pack. So they're both very cool versions. Just up to you which ones you like better. If you like the black better, you like the white better, or if you're like me and a completist and you got to have all of them. Uh, next up we have a really cool version. This is a special release from 2010. This is a Monster Duo, it was called. It was a two-pack with a monster truck in it. And uh, then it had a Baja Breaker that uh, had the same graphics from the monster truck on the Baja Breaker. And they did other different uh, releases of these Monster Duos with different Hot Wheels castings. Uh, I believe I have a Anglia Panel. That was sold as a duo with uh, the Gravedigger. So it's an Anglia panel, but it's got the Gravedigger graphics on the Anglia panel. And then also in the packaging, it came with a uh, Gravedigger monster truck. Just like this one uh, was sold in a two-pack with the Bounty Hunter monster truck. And then it had this uh, Bounty Hunter paint scheme on a Baja breaker. And this actually has two variations. There's an interior variation on this. Uh, this one is the black interior version, but if you're into variations, I've also seen a white interior uh, version of this. So, two variations of this uh, Bounty Hunter uh, Baja Breaker. Next up we have from 2010. Uh, this is uh, Hot Wheels Delivery from the Slick Ride series. Uh, this was like a premium release, Metal Flake Copper. And it's got some uh, real riders on it. Metal body, metal base. Uh, Mickey Thompson graphics on it. And then it's got, I think it, it actually has MT on the wheels uh, for Mickey Thompson. So... Mickey Thompson, if you're not familiar, is a tire manufacturer. They make drag slicks and other uh, performance tires. And uh, so it says Mickey Thompson on the hood and the sides. And then it has Mickey Thompson uh, branding on the wheels as well, on the rubber uh, wheels. Which is a pretty cool version. Metal body, metal base. Next up, we have from 2011, from the Hot One series, this Metal Flake Dark Blue. And it says Baja Breaker in red, yellow, and white, and blue tampos. Uh, there was actually uh, 
This was sold as a single, but there was a six-pack exclusive Hot Ones. Uh, I believe it had, uh, it was listed in the color as unpainted metal. So maybe like a Zamac version. Eleven, but this is the the single that was sold individually in 2011 from the Hot Ones series, and this is the Metal Flake Dark Blue. Very cool version. I believe I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think there was one that was sold like this that also had a red stripe on the wheels. I could be wrong on that, but I believe uh, I believe there was one with a red stripe. Uh, here's that one I was talking about from 2011, um, the uh, Hot One 6-pack exclusive, and the unpainted metal. This is kind of like a Zamac with the uh, blue and red tampos, Hot Wheels logo on the sides. This was a 6-pack exclusive from 2011. Very cool version. Can't go wrong with a Zamac. I like the blue and red with the silver. Looks really good. Uh, next up, we got a five-pack exclusive. And this uh, Metal Flake Green. This was uh, only sold in a five-pack, released in 2011. And the name of the five-pack was Desert Race. And that's why it's got the tan-colored wheels. I think they're supposed to look like they're covered in mud or sand or something like that. Like it's a... Uh, uh, desert racer or something like that or maybe the wheels are covered in a mud but this is the uh, five pack the desert race five pack from 2011 uh, metal flake green and it's got some cool uh, t graphics on it purple white red graphics number 85 and the hot wheels logo aha uh -huh. so pretty cool graphics on this one uh, next up, <clears throat> uh, I don't, there's one I'm missing. Uh, it's kind of a rare one. It's called uh, Light Speeders. It was a 2012 release. It was kind of a color changer, but it used like a laser or like a little flashlight to change uh, the color on the van. And it was like a, a yellowish glowing green color. Uh, I have a picture of it here. So that was the light speeders from 2012. That's the only one I, I only I'm missing two from my Baja Breaker collection. I've been looking for that one for a while. I haven't been able to find it. So if you guys do uh, have a lead on one of those uh, light speeders from 2012, uh, send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Let me know. Uh, maybe we could do some trading or if you got one uh, for sale, uh, I'd appreciate the, the hookup on that. Uh, next up we have, uh, the first pop culture release, uh, this is uh, from 2012. This is a Nostalgic Brands Nose Art, which is a really popular series. They had a lot of cool different versions, and I think it was like a five or a six car set. All had uh, like World War II nose art and stuff on the, on the, as graphics for the vehicles. This is a really cool one. Uh, the Nostalgic Brands Nose Art 2012. Uh, so this is a premium release. So it's uh, metal body, metal base, real rider tires. So just a very cool version. Overall, just looks painted like an old school fighter jet. Like a P-52 Mustang or something like that. I don't really know my planes too well, but very cool version. One uh, definitely worth picking up. Next up we have this uh, Hot Wheels Performance release from 2012. Uh, I believe this was just a mainline, but the series name was Hot Wheels Performance from 2012. And this Metal Flake Dark Blue. Actually, this one is the one that has... Uh, a second version with the red line, red line wheel. 
So this one just has black, it's kind of a black tire. But there was a second release with a slightly different tire or wheel. And it had uh, a red line around the outside of the, the wheel where the wheel meets the tire. And it was just a plastic wheel, I believe. But it had a red stripe and that was a Walmart exclusive. So that's, uh, both of them were released in 2012 from the Hot Wheels Performance Series. Just a main line. It's got the white and blue Goodyear logo. White and orange, red, and blue stripes. A uh, very cool version. And uh, a tire brand, Goodyear. So you got this regular version, and then you had the red stripe version, which was the... Uh, Walmart exclusive then you had uh, the satin gray version the satin gray release and that was an exclusive as well this one was uh, a Kmart uh, exclusive this was also released in 2012 so the satin satin gray was a Kmart exclusive. You could only get this color at Kmart. But another cool uh, retro Goodyear uh, graphics with the from the Hot Wheels Performance series, just a mainline, but a very cool uh, tampo design on that. Next up, we got some uh, pop culture releases coming up. We got this uh, Gonzo Plumbing pop culture release i believe it was some sort of uh kind of like a muppet set or something like that uh but this was released in 2013 pop culture beige and it's got gonzo uh, gonzo the great deco gonzo plumbing on the sides and rear so pretty cool uh muppets release it's a premium release Pop culture, so metal body, metal base, real rubber tires. Pretty cool. Uh, and then we have another uh, Muppets release. Another uh, pop culture release. This one was uh, released in 2014. This was Pop Culture The Muppets from 2014. And this is, uh, the Tampo has Beaker and Dr. Benson, or Dr. Bunsen, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew Deco on the sides, the Muppet Show. So, two characters from the Muppets. And, uh, it says the Puppet, the, Mupp the Muppet Show on the side. And on the back there, another pop culture release, so metal body. Metal base, rubber tires. This is just a, a black base, but it is metal. I can tell. It just feels hard. Uh, next up we have, uh, from 2014, we have uh, a color shifter. Uh, now, the information that I saw, uh, there's multiple releases of this same color shifter. They released it multiple different releases but they're uh the same exact paint job and now if you look online you'll see some pictures of one that looks very yellow and then there's one like this that's orange uh but this color shifter shifts from yellow to orange so i'm thinking that maybe just when you know the different pictures were taken maybe the vehicle was cold or maybe the vehicle was warm so in one picture it looks yellow and another picture it looks orange I believe they're the same one. I don't know if they're uh, two separate versions where one is supposed to be yellow, like in room temperature, and one is supposed to be orange in room temperature, or if they're just the same exact vehicle just re-released at a later time, uh, but the picture was taken in a different uh, temperature setting. So not really sure about that, but there was a 2014 release. And then it was released again in 2015. Same exact paint scheme. It's got the the lightning bolt or Z stripes on the side. And it's got some yellow kind of like mud splash 
graphics on it. And I think it, when it gets hot or cold, it all, it turns yellow and then you can't see those mud splashes. So kind of a cool one. Next up, we got this uh, Pop Culture Star Trek from 2016. 2016 Pop Culture Star Trek 50th Anniversary release. And this Metal Flake Orange. It's got Scotty on the sides and it says Star Trek on the rear. Pretty cool version. Like a metallic orange. If you're into Star Trek, that is. It's, it kind of has a nice uh, color to it. Nice uh, orange metal flake. And it's a pop culture release. So it's got the metal body, metal base, uh, real rubber tires. Just It's a black painted base. Just so it... It's got the black grill and the black interior. So we're getting down to the end here. Uh, next up is one more that I don't have. It's uh, from 2017. It was a color shifters release. And it shifts from gray, and br gray to brown. Kind of a grayish brown looking uh, color. And it says Hot Wheels paint removal on the side. That's a color changer that I do not have, one that I'm looking for. Uh, I'll show a picture of it here. So if you get, if you do uh, know where you can find one of those, if you got one for sale, uh, I'd appreciate it. Send me a message on Facebook, on my Facebook page or Instagram. Uh, get in contact with me if you uh, have seen one of those at your local store, uh, like a secondhand shop, or you know someone that's got one for sale. I'm missing that one from my Baja Breaker collection, and I don't have it. Uh, but I would like to get one to uh, make my Baja Breaker collection complete. And then last but not least, well, it's kind of least, but uh, this one I just found in a 50-cent bin. Uh, I'm not really sure if somebody made this custom or if it was some sort of uh, special event. It says something about, it says scavenger on it, scavenger hunt or something like that. And it has a year on the hood. It's a little bit banged up, but it was like, you know, 50 cents for a quarter. It was just loose in a big bin with a bunch of other loose vehicles, you know, in the car grinder. That's how the paint probably got all chipped up and... It's definitely well used, but it says scavenger hunt, and it says 2014. So I'm not really sure if somebody made this, uh, or if this was an actual release. If you know, let me know. I'd like to get some information about it. Uh, the axles seem a little bit long, so it might have had custom-made axles. It does look like it was drilled because it looks like it was hot glued in the front. So it looks like it's a, a custom, but I don't know much about it. If it's associated with some sort of event or if it was just uh, maybe a church made a few of these or something like that. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it informational and you enjoyed it. A lot of work went into making this video, so hopefully... Uh, you found it informational, enjoyed it. I'll give you a little wide shot of all the different uh, Baja breakers. And those are all uh, pretty much in order. Almost uh, 48 different versions. But like I said, I'm not a wheel variation collector. I just want to collect one of each tampo. So there's quite a few more than this if you want to get every single different variation. But that's, for the most part, uh, fairly complete. Like I said, I'm only missing two. Uh, both uh, one's uh, light speeder color changer and one's uh, color shifter from 2017. Those are the only two versions I don't have. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hope you found it informational. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And also check me out on Facebook, on my Facebook page, That Van Guy. Also check me out on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy on Instagram. So check me out there. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.